All right, this is our second grade math lesson, 4-7. Solve one-step and two-step problems. I can use drawings, models, and equations to solve one- and two-step problems. The second graders take a trip to a nature center. The green class sees 23 animals. The blue class sees 14 animals. The yellow class sees 32 animals. How many animals do they see in all? So we're gonna be adding together. Solve using drawings, models, or an equation. Be prepared to explain your work. So you can do it however you would like. So you could do, we're really asking 23 plus 14 plus 32 equals what? So you could draw pictures if you wanted to. I'm gonna stack them and add them. So I'm gonna add the first two together. So I'm gonna do 23 plus 14. Okay, three plus four is seven, and two plus one is three. Is my answer 37? No, because we still need to add this over here. Plus 32. Seven plus two is nine, and three plus three is six, so we get a total of 69 animals, okay? You could draw pictures if you wanted to. You could do 23, 14, and 32. So if you decided to draw pictures, if you do 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 14 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 32, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. And then you could add them this way. So first of all, we have to bundle the groups of ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine. So we couldn't even make a bundle. So we just have nine ones. How many groups of 10 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six groups of 10. So we can do it that way also. The tricky part with drawing pictures, it can take a really long time to count all of the ones and bundle them into groups of 10. But again, it's another strategy that you can use. All right, let's go ahead and go on to our back page. All right, let's read our comic strip together. Amy and Devin count 36 butterflies. Suddenly, more butterflies join them. How many more? We don't know, we have a math mystery. So we had 36 and we get more butterflies. Now there are 53 butterflies total. How many new butterflies join them? The total is 53. The first group has 36 butterflies. I will use a bar diagram to model the problem. So we're using our bar diagram, our total, and these are the parts that make up the whole, okay? I can use mental math to find 36 plus something equals 53. Think 36 plus 10 is 46. Remember, we don't wanna go over 53. And 46 plus four is 50, and 50 plus three is 53, so 10, plus four plus three equals 17. So 17, 36 plus 17 equals 53. So 17 butterflies join them. Check your work. So we're gonna stack them and add 36 plus 17. Six plus seven is 13. We'll put the three in the ones, regroup that group in the tens. One plus three is four, plus one more is five. So we have a total of 53. All right, do you understand? Show me. Suppose you count 28 butterflies. Then suddenly there are 54. How could you use mental math to find how many to join? I'm gonna do a little bar diagram first. So we have 54 total. We had 28 plus something, okay? 28 plus something gets us to 54. So let's see, I could add two, right? I could do 28 plus two equals 30. And then I have to get to 54. 20, or sorry, 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 10 is 50. So plus two groups of 10 equals 50. But we have to get to 54. So 50 plus four equals 54. Now these are what we added together. So we add 20 plus two is 22, plus four is 26. We know the answer is going to be 26. All right, let's take a look at our guided practice. 
Use the bar diagram and mental math to solve each problem. Then check your work. There are 29 red marbles. I'm gonna go ahead and circle this one. 29 red marbles, seven green marbles, and 11 blue marbles in a bag. How many marbles are in the bag? So we know we have 29 red marbles plus seven green marbles plus 11 marbles in the bag. So we need to get our total amount and we're gonna use some mental math to do this, okay? So let's see, I know that I can, hmm, I can add two of these together. Let's see, this has our check it here. So let's see, I know that 11 plus seven is 18 and 29. So let's go ahead and add it together here. Nine plus seven is 16 plus one more is 17. So seven in the ones place. And we have to regroup again. Oh wait, it looks like it already has our, yep, it already has our, let me see. Yeah, here's our regroup. One plus one is two plus two. Let's see, I'm so sorry, let me take a look at this. It already has our regroup on there. Sorry, that's already our regroup. So we didn't need to put that there. So one plus two is three plus one more is four. So we have a total of 47. We're gonna put 47 there. 47 there and 47 there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our next page, our independent practice page, and see what we need to do. We're gonna do all of this. You're gonna do all of this on your own, and then we're gonna come back and check it together. So let's take a look at this. Use the bar diagram and mental math to solve each problem, then check your work, okay? 29 students are on the bus. Then some more students get on the bus. How many more? We don't know, it's a math mystery. Now there are 46 students on the bus. How many students got on the bus? We have a total of 46 students. We had 29, so 29 plus something equals 46. Now this is when a number line is nice and handy, okay? So if we start at 29, I know if I add plus one, I get to 30, but we have to get to 46. So I'm gonna go plus 10 to 40, and then 40 plus six equals 46. So I added 10, 11 plus six is 17. Now I need to check it, okay? So we're gonna add my 29 plus 17 here, and we're gonna check it and see if we got it right. 9 plus 7 is 16, 6 on the 1, regroup that one over there. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. Look at this, our 46 and 46 matches, so we are correct. So we know that that's 17, so 29 plus 17 equals 46. So they got a new group of 17 students. How many students got on the bus? 17 students. We're not going to put 46 there. It's asking us how many got on the bus. All right, let's take a look at our next one. Ella has 34 more buttons than Julio. Julio has 49 buttons. How many buttons does Ella have? Well, we know that Julio has 49 and Ella has 34 more. So we need to add those together, okay? So let's take a look at this. We can use a couple of different strategies in mental math. We could make that one go up to 50. If we add one there, we've got to take away one from there. So that is a strategy we could use. You could do 50 plus 33 equals 83. You could also do it on a number line. So you have 49 plus one will get you to 50, right? And then we are gonna add up to 34. So we did plus one here. I'm gonna do 10, 20, 30, right? Because that's our 30 plus 30. So that's 60, 70, 80. So I've added 31, but I really need to do three more. Plus three will get us to 83. Now I wanna check that and make sure that's correct. So I'm gonna go 49 plus 34. Nine plus four is 13. Three in the ones place, regroup, add a one. One plus four is five, plus three is 
8 gives us 83. So that is how many she has. We checked using our number line, which we can kind of do that in our head. That's kind of how mental math works. So we know that 49 plus 34 equals 83. So she has a total of 83 buttons. All right, let's take a look at number four. Wendy has 14 more crayons than Oscar. 14 more than Oscar. Does she have 14 crayons? Nope, she has 14 more than Oscar. Oscar has 54 crayons. How many crayons does Wendy have? So Oscar has 54 crayons and Wendy has 14 more. So we're actually gonna squeeze that in there. 54 plus 14 is what we're doing. So again, you can do your mental math. We can make that 55. And if we add one over here, we subtract one over there. So 55 plus 13 would get us a sum of 68, but let's check that and see. So, see, because what I did is I did 55, I added one there. If I had one on one side, I have to subtract one on the other, plus 13. So let's see, five plus three equals eight, and five plus one equals four for a total of 48 crayons. Let me see, oh no, I'm sorry, five plus one is six, there we go. That just didn't look right. That's why we always do math in pencil. I've got to do math in black pen so you can see it okay on the video, but that's why we do pencil with math, even all the way through high school and college, because then you can erase it. All right, so I think it's gonna be 68, but I need to check it now. So it is, um, let's see, 54 plus 14. Four plus four is eight, five plus one is six. Yes, so we have a total of 68. So we know that 54 plus 14 equals 68. All right, great job, everybody. Let's head to the back page here. And again, remember this lesson, we're working on two-step problems. So let's see. Let's take a look at this one, math practices and problem solving. Solve each problem, show your work. So number five, Mariah has 17 figs. Kendra has 20 more figs than Mariah. Does Kendra have 20 figs? No, she has 20 more than Mariah. Toby has 33 more figs than Kendra. How many figs do Kendra and Toby each have? Holy cow, this is a lot of work. So let's start with this. We know that Kendra has 20 more than Mariah. So we know Mariah has 17 plus Kendra has 20 more. So 17 plus 20, we know is going to give us 37 figs, right? 37, so a total of 37 figs. Now what we need to do is we need to do the part two of the question. So we're gonna start with Kendra has 37 and Toby has 33 more than Kendra. So we need to add 33 there. So 37 plus 33, let's do some mental math on this. Let's add our ones first. Seven plus three is 10. And then let's add our tens. Three plus three, three groups of 10 is 30, plus three groups of 10 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. So I'm gonna do 60 plus 70. So 60 plus 70, I'm sorry, look, I did my mental math in my head again. 60 plus 10 equals 70. So 70 total figs. Whew, that was a lot of work. That's why it's so important when you're looking at the questions to circle the numbers and figure out exactly what it's asking us to do. All right, let's take a look at our higher order thinking here. Eight girls and some boys are in the pool. How many boys? We don't know, it's a math mystery. In all, 17, boy, uh, 17 children are in the pool. Then some more boys, uh-oh, how many more boys? We don't know. More boys jump in the pool. Now there are 13 boys in the pool. How many more boys jumped in the pool? Oh my goodness. All right, so we had 17 in the pool at one point. We're gonna start with that. 17 minus our eight girls, because this will let us know how many boys we have. 17 minus eight is nine. Okay, so we know there's nine boys in the pool. I'm gonna move this nine down here because we're gonna need this for our next step. 
Then some more boys jump in the pool. We don't know how many more, but we know we're getting more and we're adding. That lets us know we're adding. And now there's a total of 13 boys in the pool. So we need to find nine plus what equals 13. I'm just gonna count up nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Four boys. So we know that four more boys jumped into the pool. So a lot of times we'll get questions like this that are really tricky, but if we sit and figure out exactly what we need to answer, it's not too bad. All right, let's look at number seven. The soccer coach has 18 shirts. Then she gets nine more shirts we're gonna add. There are 22 players on her team. She gives a shirt to each player. How many shirts does the coach have left? So we're gonna use the numbers on the cards to complete the equations. So she has 18 shirts and she gets how many more? Nine shirts. So 18 plus nine, 18 plus nine, let's see, eight plus nine is 17. Regroup, we know that's going to be 27. Okay, so she has 27 shirts. Now take a look at that. We've got that 27 there. Our next part is she has 22 players on the team. She gives a shirt to each player. So she's gonna give away 22 shirts. So we know she's gonna use 22. 27 minus 22. Well, we've only got one card left, so let's double check it. Seven minus two, yep, is definitely five. Let's check our tens, two minus two is zero, yep. So the coach has five shirts left. Phew, great job, everybody.